Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Master. Dave is the head of product managing director at Direction.com. And there couldn't be a better time, folks, uh, to turn around and take a look at Direction. Uh, because the bottom line is that, you know, many times we know a lot of the tigers and tigresses. They love trading the doubles and the triples. But I'll tell you, folks, OK, just to basically go a delta neutral. And what that means is that uh, we're going to talk about it with Dave. Dave Mazda, how are you doing today? Doing well. Happy to be back. Yes. And thank you for coming back, <laughs> you know, because um, there is no doubt we get a market like this. We haven't had a market like this in a long time. Um, and, you know, the, the Tigers and Tigresses, they love trading, you know, the doubles and the triples and the nugget. There's no doubt. And they're doing very good. And thank you for having so many different uh, ETFs. What I'd love to talk about today, Dave, is this, is just the one-to-ones, okay? And what we're going to talk about, folks, is the one-to-one. -one. And the reason is that I know, you know, everyone has a portfolio out here, okay? So with the doubles and the triples, as Dave and I have explained many times, okay, they're, they're for daily trading, the one to one, however, is that you could take your portfolio, let's say there's 100 grand in it, and if you want to hedge it, you know, you could use one of the direction ETF one to one to leverage that. Now, it doesn't mean that the market's not going to go high. I'm not, I'm just saying I want to set it up so that we can explain to them, Dave, what they can do if they own a lot of tech, if they own, you know, the S&Ps, okay? So looking at this market, can you just explain a little, like the one to ones, you know, broadly how we can do this? Yeah, uh, it's a great point. I think oftentimes we're talking about the two times or three times bull or bear funds, which are really about amplifying exposures, uh, again, on the upside or on the downside. Yes. When you're mentioning the one to ones, a great, you know, uh, and we have seen a large increase in interest in our fund SPDN, which provides the inverse exposure of the S&P 500 on a daily basis. And so this particular product, again, it's not trying to do double uh, the return on the downside. It's just the, the, the minus return. So if market's up one, this fund on a daily basis will be down one and so on. And so in this environment, uh, more so than ever, traders have tools uh, to hedge their portfolio, to make their portfolios more resilient. But th these can be a great tool. So investors don't necessarily, and traders don't have to sell something they like. Uh, over the long run, to your point, everyone has a portfolio uh, and likely a lot of S&P 500 exposure in some way, shape or form. So SPDN can be a tool that a trader could use to hedge uh, that uh, without potentially losing more than they put in, for example, if the market somehow finds its footing here and recovers. Right. And so what we're explaining, folks, is this. OK, so granted, I know you all love to trade the, 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 the doubles and the triples, and I'm not discouraging that. What I'm just trying to do here is that, you know, if you wake up in the morning and want to do the SPS XS, great, that's three times. But we want to make sure that you close that position out at the end of the day, because if we get a choppy market, the doubles and triples, OK, the bottom line, you know, they're daily investment vehicles versus what Dave has just brought up, which is this SPDN, is that if the market keeps going south, you can protect yourself a bit, which is going to be, you know, they, you know, it's wild, Dave, is that I mean, there's many folks that haven't seen a market like this um and you know the, the bids are hard to find out here <laughs> that's the bottom line yeah no it's pretty clear um we were already in uh in, already were expecting an increase in volatility and we got that right so we saw our first correction in some time we we did that again and then now we're talking about something that's really serious it's an invasion and it's a war at this point and right. um, the ability to predict with foresight uh, what may happen, especially with the different actors that we're talking about, about today, is really challenging. Um, so, uh, tr again, traders who had not necessarily been prepared for this or had taken an outright bearish view can use something like SPDN. They still need to look at it on a daily basis. For sure. But it doesn't have the, the real issues with compounding that can happen in volatile market environments with tools that are two times or especially three times levered. So really any product that we talk about uh, for directions, leverage and inverse uh, suite, you do need to have that ability. Hey, it's today a buy, a buy day, a sell day or a hold day. Um, but the, the challenges that you can have with being offside uh, with just a one-to-one -one inverse is not nearly as great 
as being offside on, on the two times or three times. And particularly because they're going to be covering their own portfolio, which is really cool, man. That's and, correct. And of course, folks, okay, you know, I know you're in the gold market, and so that's a different ball game. <laughs> and that is still trending with us, man. So the, the bottom line is that check it out, folks. You can go right to our website at TFNN. You can see the direction banner. Bring it up. Do a little homework because it's well worth it. Dave, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to having you two weeks from today. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. <laughs>